Hey guys, what's up? DJ Kevin over here from DJ Kevin TV One. I know the aspect ratio is a little off. Um, I'm not using my cell phone that everybody knows and love with high definition video. But today we're gonna rip open a speaker. Yeah, I have a computer speaker over here that doesn't work at all. Um, and I'm gonna show you why you need to have grills on your on your drivers and on your cabinets and shit like that. So this is a computer speaker. All right, you can see the port hole in the back, and this goes to the other side of the other speaker, which is amplified. So this does not have any amplification inside. What it does this wire goes to the powered one. That goes to the other side of this particular, the little brother, the powered version. So this is the left, this is the left channel of this particular model. Uh, Poor hole feet. Um, we have the CN code, and you know, May in China and all that gobbly gook. All right. So this is why you should actually have a grill over any type of speaker, PA home audio, um, DJ related speakers, you know, all that crap. Um, so this is the reason why. As you can tell by this woofer, this woofer does not work anymore, so does, so doesn't the, um, the computer speaker that I have. Um, it's been through hell. I lost the grill to these guys, and this is a good example why you need to have the grills on your drivers. Right now, as you guys can tell, the the um, dust cap is pushed in. That's normal for speakers. I mean, you know, the dust cap is round, so you kind of attend it to having it pushed in like that. But if you can actually look at this, it's all cracked, bent in, and. That is the reason why that speakers die very, very quickly because this is why you want to have a grill on your speaker, speaker cabinets, computer speakers like this one, or PA speakers, or home audio speakers, whatever. This is the reason why. Now, this is an Alltech Lansing um, computer speaker that come that came with my Dell uh, desktop, and uh, Alltech Lansing is a JBL brand. Well, it's created by JBL before he started um, JBL Sound Corporation. So he started with this company. But as you guys can tell, look at that guy. You see a little rip over there. You see a little, you know, this guy has been through hell. So right now, I got a screwdriver. Let's take this, this driver out and see what's going on. Now, that is the reason why that you should have a grill on any type of cabinet. And holy crap, that is a big ass fucking screw. Not like I'm going to be using this cat, like this computer speakers anymore. But, if we could move down like that, there we go. Not like I'm going to be using these computer speakers anymore because they sound like shit. But, everybody knows on YouTube that I'm a big speaker fanatic, so. I'm uh, I'm keeping the speakers, and we'll see what's wrong with these. So there we go. These guys are factory tightened. So okay, on the bottom it has little screws. So I might want to put that off to the side. Yep, factory tightened. And, uh, here we go. Alright, let's pull this guy out. Huh, still not coming out. Hold up. Okay. Sometimes, these computer speakers can be a bitch. Come on. Come on. Still not coming out. You know what? Fuck it, let's rip the whole cabinet out. <clears throat> let's unscrew 
the plastic part that holds these two part in the cabinet together that's what I'm gonna be unscrewing right here and then hopefully what we can see inside oh just have two screws alright cool so we just yeah pop this guy out do we have any screws in the back yes we do we have one Sorry guys, if you guys hear that shit, have any, it's still not coming out. Oh, there goes the screws right there. Like I said, I'm not going to be using this cabinet or this computer speakers anymore because they, they sound like shit. Anyway. Yes, that's the reason why. Now we should actually pull this guy out. Shit. The hell? Hold on. Here we go. <laughs> Alright, so here we go. That's the reason why. Alright, so inside the cabinet, this is what it looks like. Um, not a lot of the bracing though, but we do have the RCA, which is this guy right here. This is actually connected straight in the back of the speaker itself. This is 6 ohms, 2.5 watt driver. So let me try if I could just take this guy out. By pushing in the terminals because that's the reason why that won't come out. There we go. Alright. Now, let's, uh. God damn it. And we got a bit of glue going on over here. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just take my screwdriver, or it'll be better off if you use a flathead, but uh, all I got is a screwdriver. And we want to try to rip the glue out. Or use your hands. Alright, well, there's no pause feature on this software. So, um, yeah, let me just, uh, I don't want to. Where the fuck did that other screw come in? Anyway, um, yeah. So, this is the driver. Um, it's... It's a beefy driver, to be honest, for an Alltech Lansing. There's no rubbing, so I don't even know why it doesn't want to work. Probably it does work. Um, I'm gonna be taking the... This woofer out. So... As you could already tell... Uh, this is positive, the red... And that's the negative to black. Let me push it off like that. There we go. That's positive. That's negative. So, um... If I could rip... Okay, this might seem gross, but I'm going to do it anyway. Hold on. Ah! Yeah! There's one. Ah! Yeah! There's the other. Alright, so. Might want to try to solder those wires out. But, yeah, that's the driver. That's in this Alltech Lansing um, computer speaker. And, uh, like I said, kind of fuck that up, fuck that around. That's the positive lead, that's the negative lead. And I do need some work to try to take those solders out. And I definitely need a patch job to patch this woofer so it doesn't look like shit. But yeah, that is that's the driver. I mean it's um pretty uh beefy magnet, to be honest. Look how beefy that magnet is. And uh in the back. Okay, seemed like my brother's radio just turned on. 
God damn, that's weird. Um, so it is a six ohm. It is a six six ohm uh, driver, two point five watts, and a uh, little bent over there. Don't know why. I don't blame Altec Lansing for that. I think it's just been bounced around a lot. But yeah, this is the driver, and this is going in my spare speaker bag where I have so many speakers which I'll make another video of and uh, yeah this is the driver kind of all fucked up looking I don't know what the excursion on this guy is probably probably an inch not even an inch like a centimeter excursion because it's so goddamn small but um yeah I don't know what those numbers are for no clue whatsoever. I think that's uh, all tech Lansing part numbers. But, uh, yeah, it looks like a all tech Lansing part number. 3G09B. That sounds about right. So that is the driver that came out of this all tech Lansing piece of shit cabinet. Um, like I said, I'm going to keep the, I'm going to keep the driver. Because, like I, everybody knows, I'm a speaker fanatic, so I'm keeping the driver. But, this is what inside the cabinet looks like. Um, we got the porthole uh, for extra base. We got some um, veins inside. I don't think you guys can see that, but we got some veins inside um, for the residents. Uh, so it doesn't resonate inside the cabinet. Or the, well, I guess you could call this a cabinet. It does hold the speaker in, right? Um, so this is, so they put veins inside so it could resonate the cabinet and make it a deep, uh, deep, deep bass quality. And, uh, yeah, here's the bezel. The part number is an HIPS201-01. Part number. I'll take Lansing. Yeah, this this um it's uh <laughs> it's supposed to be like that. Like that. Anybody wants this, call me up. Um nah I'm throwing this guy in the trash. But um yeah, that's the I'll take Lansing. Uh I don't know what model number this this pair this computer speakers are, but this is the bezel and the cabinet all together um cheap plastic it's a cheap plastic piece of shit it's not abs but hey it worked at its time so i don't use headphone i don't use computer speakers at all on my com on my desktop i use my headphones so technically i don't need these but yeah so, uh, that's it. So, that is the Altic Lansing computer speaker. And, uh, I'm going to make another video for the Amplify version. The Amplified brother. So, practice and enjoy, and don't buy these guys. If you guys want to buy some Altic Lansing, buy their portable Bluetooth speakers. I bet you those are, like, higher quality than these guys. But, like I said, I'm keeping the driver. So, that's it. Practice and enjoy.